uh, Bilahari. Um, I'm interested in your view on the a potential conflict over Taiwan, because obviously that's often spoken of as a defensive democracy uh, in the Asia Pacific region. If there was a war to break out uh, over Taiwan's freedom, do you believe that would be a war worth fighting? And how do you think Southeast Asia would respond to that? Um, before I answer that question, can I just make a quick comment uh, in response to what the question you asked, Richard, right? Of course. Uh, I think all of us in the whole region, whether autocracies or democracies, confront three fundamental realities. First of all, we now better understand we need to work with both China and America. They are no alternatives. Secondly, all of us, including some US allies, have cons concerns about the behavior of both China and America. Not the same concerns, of course, but concerns nonetheless. And thirdly, uh, despite our concerns, I think we all know there is only one China and one America, and therefore we will have to make the best of it that we can. <laughs> uh, so I think, you know, let's not simplify things too much. And that, again, okay, applies to Taiwan. I think there are different scenarios. If there is an unprovoked attack, I wouldn't frame the interests involved here in terms of defending Taiwanese freedom. There are other interests involved, and different countries will have different interests, different calculations of interest, of which values will be only one element. Huh? Uh, I think there are different scenarios. If there is an unprovoked attack on Taiwan by China, that's one set of circumstances. But if Taiwan does something terribly provocative, like, for example, unilaterally declaring independence, that's a different set of circumstances. So this is not a question that can be answered in the abstract, uh, devoid of context, of specific context, which we don't know what the context will be at right now, or answered on the basis of, you know, uh, a rather abstract concept of, like, defending freedom. Hmm, that's interesting. I, mean, I, I suppose in the scenario, say if we get specific in the scenario that we have, you know, the Chinese government decides to reunite Taiwan with the mainland, uh, in, in a you know, without any declaration of independence from Taiwan, would that change Southeast Asia's estimation? Do you think? I think it would change the calculation of interest, but it would not have anything to do with freedom. You know, if the calculation would be if China gets away with unprovoked aggression. What were the what are the larger implications for the region, and that's a more relevant um, uh, calculation, I think, uh, than you know this abstract idea of defending freedom. Uh, Siswa, I just wanted to take you to something that Bilahari just said because obviously in your first answer you talked a lot about competing interests in the region and having multiple partners, and you said how everyone can be you know your close your close friend is sort of in in the region. But as Bilahari said, that there might come a time where you have to choose between, well, where the choice is. Sorry, I did not say that. I did not say <laughs> well, that. But, but, but you, said, you said US or China. And I no, thought, I said the choice is not US or China. The three realities, we have to work with both. We have concerns about both, but we have only one of each. So there's not much choice. <laughs> well, so I, please I, don't put I, words I, in my mouth. <laughs> I apologize, Dave. <laughs> um, 